Kitty. <laughs> hey, Margaret. <laughs> we got to help these trainees with the yellow flowers, you know. Really? Yellow flowers? Are there any? Good afternoon, Margaret and Jeannie. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to start a series of videos about wildflowers and we're going to begin with what some people have called the dreaded yellows. Uh, of course they're beautiful, but I think what's intimidating is there are so many of them and some of them seem to be very similar. So we want to talk about that. I guess the first question I would ask is why is the color yellow so common? among flowers. Do we know? Margaret knows. My understanding is that bees are attracted or, or c can see both yellow and blue rather than other colors. It may be something to do with the pigmentation okay. that, that's easier to, but I don't know. Okay. Now color is a very good clue as to the identity of a flower. If it's yellow, it's probably not a purple nightshade. Uh, so that's also a problem when you have lots of flowers that resemble each other and many of the yellows do seem to be uh, siblings, cousins, family members. Do they belong to the same family and, and if so, what is that? They're all members of the Asteraceae family, which used to be known as the Capacity family. And I think that the word there shows what it means. Because if we think of a, a, a composition in music, it's putting different things together. And in the composite families, it's putting different flowers all together. So what do you mean by that, putting different flowers together? How are they, com what's composite about them? Multiple flowers in, in one, what we call a flower. One daisy. <laughs> yeah, one daisy. In one oh, daisy, daisy, you have many, many flowers. How is that? More, actually more called florets rather than flowers, so, so that can help us distinguish between the two of them. So I've heard the term ray flowers and disc flowers. What do those refer to? Well, if you think of a daisy, um, the center of the daisy is composed of disc flowers, many, many flowers in that center. And each one of the yellow, what we might call petals around that center, is a ray flower. Are both the disc flowers and ray flowers fertile? Can they both? In some work? cases they are, and not in all cases. Some, okay. like bush sunflowers, for example, the ray flowers, the, what we would think of as the yellow petals around the dark center, are not fertile. Asteraceae sounds a lot like aster, so I guess aster is a member of that family. Daisy, you referred yes. to. It comes from Co the word star, and is star-shaped flowers. What the are rays, some other examples but, of members of that family? Well, there's a huge number of, of um, plants. In fact, it's there's 20, 23,000 species. Um, species in that gen in that uh, family. So, and there's a lot of genera too. Good old genetics. <laughs> what it are some? Everything. What are some other examples of members of that family that might not be obvious? That might not look like daisies. Well, California sagebrush. Bacchus. Coyote brush. The Once lettuce you have in your salad. Um, ragweed. So it is quite diverse, actually, even though the ones that we see and we think of from the endangered sea dahlia to the plentiful dandelion are the most common. There's quite a bit of, of variety. All the many, many sunflowers and dahlias. And many of the ones that aren't as showy tend to bloom later. And that probably has evolved to make use of the insects that are still around. And they're not, they're not competing with other plants at that time. Talking about evolution, I have heard that the composites uh, are thought to be the most modern, meaning most recently evolved uh, type of flower. Why, why would that be that suggests that there's some adaptive value to being a composite. Do we have ideas about what that value might be? It's probably evolved to make full use of pollination and uh, in different ways. And in some of the, the composite plants, they, um, if they don't fertilize themselves, the stigma will fold over and get pollen from its style. 
so that it can fertilize itself. But it, it will have made an effort to be fer fertilized by other insect by insects first. And the, the flowers are are shaped to make it easy for insects to land. Okay. So we've talked about them in the abstract. Let's go take a look. <laughs> 